Well, hello everybody, and welcome to Tuesday Night Festivities. KB with you, Karen Bryant here. Uh, welcome to the show. Uh, tonight, actually I should say, our guest is Mickey Gall. Mickey is fighting this Saturday at UFC 273. So we will talk to him about that. Uh, you know, Mickey's a guy who came on the scene in the UFC with four wins in a row, and a couple of those wins were over some big name people. So he got a lot of fame really kind of fast, and it'll be interesting to talk to him about how he's processed that over the years. And you know, because he's faced some ups and downs and has definitely a different look on things now, I think. You know, he's fighting out of Sanford MMA down in Florida, which also means that he spent some time with Dorino. So we will see what he thinks about Dorino's fight coming up against comes out as well this weekend so lots to talk to Mickey about uh, and also you know he's from Jersey uh, I actually was born in New Jersey you know Renato used to live in New York uh, for a while I lived in New York for a while so plenty of things to talk about with Mickey well, and, and speaking of uh, more people speaking of more people speaking of Really, I guess he's kind of a people person. He is the 27-time World Jiu-Jitsu champion, Mr. Hinato Laranja. Now joining us live from uh, Hollywood. Hi. Uh, hey, hey, hey. Hey, it's you got to about the tanks. Oh, yeah. I, I mean, it's the, it is the season in L.A. now. The, yeah, well, you also went full wife beater, though, too. I feel like in the jersey homage as well. Well, it's kind of that. And this one is like a kung fu. Uh, it's a thundering match. Oh, nice. Um, nice. But look at your Uncle Hanash. What kind are you? You look uh, good. Hold on. Let me to let the people to see a little closer, a little more light on there. <laughs> look so they can enjoy. Yeah. Look at that one. Nice. Mm -hmm. so how's it going? It's good. I just got in, inside from a, being outside in the sun with my doggy. Yeah, it was a nice day, wasn't it? It was a beautiful day. Yeah. My God was provide that one to you. Well, I think your God is going to provide us a couple of, uh, but I know that we're just talking about the weather folks, but in LA, they said it might get up to 90 uh, tomorrow even. Yeah, the, the, my God is provide the weather, but I'm provide the salon for me. Oh, God. I... Yeah, I had a nice day. I played some tennis this morning. Mm. So, what were you wearing? I was wearing a tennis skirt and a tank top, like a, you know, sports bra and then a tank top and my hair and a little, I had a little, a little visor, new yeah. sneakers that I got. Yeah, you should be wearing high heels as far as I'm concerned. God, I, and then you go to pick up the ball and I go, oh God, I'll eat 40 love. Oh. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I guess I could, I guess I could have done that, but I didn't call you and let you know I was playing, sorry. I didn't know that. I don't know that I could play in high heels though. I, I don't think so. Well, you're gonna have to try your best. I like, you know what I love in the women uh, channels? What? I love this one. When they go, ah, when they hit the ball, you know how certain ones go like, they all yeah. silent and they go, ah, and then you hear the, you know what I mean? And then something about that is like a very, it's a very, it's a trash. Yeah, well, yeah, there's a, a few people that, that kind of grunt. Uh, yeah, when they're like exerting, um, yeah. Hey, um, okay, so, uh, I don't know, you know, we, like I was saying on the um, over on the after party, we'll get into the finals of the action hero. We will have John Wick versus Rambo. I'm um, I'm nervous for this one here. I know, I'm a little nervous too. This is for all the marble. Yeah, this is it. There's no turning back after this. No, no. And I was telling people that John Wick beat the Terminator, so he's coming in hot. He did beat the Terminator, but now he might be cocky. He might be hasting on his laurel. You know what I'm saying? Well, let's get into this later. Let's not too good, because once I, I was get just going to say, I was just going to say, we're going to save it for later. Okay. And so I didn't know what you, you know, I'm, I'm curious what you are, um, what you're doing now. Like I said, it is, the weather here has been great. I know a lot of people are on spring break. Have you noticed more, more people come into town, like over the last couple of weeks? Are you, have you, have you been out and about? Like, what do you? Do you like I to know. welcome spring breakers? What's your take on that? You know, my, my, my life is one spring break. Um, the only thing that changes for other people, maybe we see like some more, the ladies is maybe wearing less clothes, you know, mm -hmm. and you're seeing more cakes now. Um, unfortunately, the men is wearing less too, but, <laughs> but that's good for you, Karo. Um, yeah, <laughs> as, 
Somebody said I can do it. Can you do a Puerto Rican accent? Maybe later. Hey, I'm um, gonna say. I was gonna yeah. say yeah. I'm gonna send Mickey a message. I can let him know that. Like I don't know if he. Uh, you know, because it is fight week for him. But I, I'll just send him a quick reminder and let him know. But they, is he, he already just, in Florida or is he still in Jersey? Well, he trained since he trains at Sanford. He would already be there. You know what I mean? Wait, he trained with Fred Sanford. <laughs> Yeah, he's training for the big one, the big punch. Well, yeah, the big one is coming. God, you, you remember Fred Sanford go like this? <laughs> yes, exactly, exactly. That's how he always did. Yeah. Um, I'm. Uh, where? Somebody saw a Mickey guy outside in here. Oh, uh, did he? Mickey. Is Mick. he here yet? I was just sending him a message. Yeah, tell Fred Sanford to, to, to <laughs> give you a fucking okay. break over so there. So Sanford and Son, you know that that growing when growing up for me, that is mm. like that is a great memory. Like my dad loved that show. Oh, um, me that's and my a dad used to watch I, that shit too. I remember, and I have like a such a nice um, connection for that show. You know what I mean? Like it, it's uh, it's great. Hey. Yeah. Speaking of connections and speaking of great, we have got him on the line with us now, oh. ladies and gentlemen, all the way from Florida. Mickey Whoa! Dog. How are you? Oh, how are you? Hey, what's up, guys? What's Good happening, my brother? Are we? Thank you. I wore, I wore I, my tank top for you. Yes, I love. I I, I even went all the way jersey store for you. I, I left the shirt at home. I need Come bring on, bro. But bro, you cut you cut your fucking curls, bro. No, I know my uh my Jersey Shore hair went away. All right, uh, yeah. that means you're down to business now. You're not fucking around. Exactly. That's yeah. right. It looks good. It looks good. And I'm like, uh, what do you what do you have a name for this? I feel like guys sometimes have a name for their stash and their look, like uh, laziness. <laughs> yeah. yeah, but sometimes girls like that because it looks like you're not trying, and they go, oh, he don't give a fuck. He's not gonna give a fuck about me oh. either. Oh, I love this fucking guy now. Here we Pre go again. Premeditated, partner. <laughs> I see that. He treated his facial hair like shit. Oh, he's going to treat me like a piece of shit, too. Oh, God, I, I love him. Here we go again. Oh, Mickey, are you dating anybody? Or do you have a girl? Uh, I did. I don't anymore, actually. Newly single. This is a good... I like this. That's two in a hole. First, we have um, Kelvin Gastelum, who who yep. was get hit of some some liability, was cut his losses. And now we have a Mickey Gow. Who is free as a bird for her? Yeah. What what's the bird of Jersey? Like a, a pigeon or something like what, what's the national bird of Jersey? I don't know why I know this. I think because of third grade, but it's the eastern goldfinch. It's not really funny. Oh or... no, it makes sense. It makes sense because it gold chain. Like the Italian <laughs> men out there and also the guys who grew up with the Italian, they wear the chain, God I Goldfinch. Goldfinch. It's a cute little bird. Yeah, but it's also heavy gold in the child. Yeah, yeah, that's by yeah. design. Well, you, know, you know, not for nothing. He was kind of half joking about it when we were talking with Kelvin last week, though. But like, it's not a bad thing necessarily for a fighter to be single and not have, you know. I mean, it's great for you to have a very supportive partner, but at the same no. time, I do know that sometimes that has like caused more problems for people inside the octagon because of the drama that was going on outside. Yeah, I mean, they say like the the downfall of a lot of great men is women, uh, but. I don't know. I, I had I had a good I had a good girlfriend. It's just uh, you know, just it didn't work out. It work. You had to put her to pasture. <laughs> yeah. yeah. You went to <laughs> set her to be free, God I She's gonna love this. I was just uh, gonna say, I'm sorry. She's probably a great okay. girl and I'm I'm not it's no disrespect to her. I don't know her. I'm just saying in general, you know. Did she yeah. <laughs> Is she watching this one for her? Uh, probably shit. I'm sorry. Oh, so she keep the chat like. <laughs> hey, I go, Hey, it's all good. It's all. And she's still hating, like watching, like oh god, I, let's see what he's up to. I oh, fuck this guy, God, I. Ah, oh, damn it, he still looks good. And you, she probably, you know, especially when you guys get into fight week, you know, you guys turn into a different animal too. You you get your if you're already good looking, like a lot of time it just goes up. Get all lean and mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. thanks. Mm -hmm. 
Tell me more about your ex girlfriend. Does she need some comforting now or something like that? So I want to go. yours. I know you got. Which you guys many children running around? Is your world championships or what? Yeah, I mean, I I choose. You know, these days I've I, I've chose to f uh, focus the positive, and that part of my life is negative. That's in the past, you mm. know, and let old Lang Syne, uh to be a foreign acquaintance to be forgot for her, you Just know. Deep. Yeah. You know, Mickey, I'd rather talk about a positive subject. Um, and that is the fact that you have a fight this weekend. Right. Um, yeah. So it is fight week for you, UFC 273, Mike, Mike Mallet, right? Mallet, Malat. I'm not really sure. Malat, right. Because it is, he's Canadian. So yeah, it could be Malat. It could be Malat. Oh, he's a Quebecois? I, I'm not, I'm not is sure. Is he one of those guys that talk like this? I will fight Mickey Gao and... Uh... I'm not sure of his accent. I will try to best him in the octagon. Uh, he will not be able to handle me. Uh, what, 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 what he's good at for him? Yeah. Um, well, I say, I say he's kind of a little, uh, a little similar to me. I mean, no one's like me, but he's like, he's like a, he's a, he's got some grappling, got some striking. Um, uh, like you know, a grappler likes to strike. Either way, you know what I mean. But mm -hmm. you know. Like I said, it's, you know, there's no like me. And look, I, I've been I've been doing this. This is my 11th walk. I'm about to make my 11th UFC walk. Right. We're the same age, but like I'm the vet in there. You know, he's the new kid. So yeah. You know, I, I'm, well, I I'm looked up. He have a good haircut. It's very similar to yours, but the difference I see is the caliber of opponent. Mm -hmm. You know, like I said. You, oh, can you hear me? Yeah. yeah. Did you say record but, or haircut? No, <laughs> the same haircut. Uh, but yeah. Haircut. Now I realize you're saying record, yeah. Oh no, no. He, I don't know about his haircut, but he have a similar amount of fights. And but yeah. but you have done that in the UFC, you know, and, yeah. and and he's done that in the other one. Now you know, to be fair, you know, if he's never been there, he haven't had the chance yet, so we don't know. But but Facts. you know, but, you've look, been proven. I'll tell you, I'll tell you guys this. Um, like I came into the UFC at one and up, right? Mm -hmm. And people, you know, people pro watched my whole development, all that, and uh. People probably watching, like watching, you know, little like the regional kids watching at, at home, like looking on TV, being like, "Oh yeah, I, I bet I'd beat Mickey. I could beat Mickey." Blah blah blah, talking like that to their douchebag. Yeah. Mm -hmm. They probably think shit's sweet, but then when they see me in the gym, they feel the difference. Like I, I came up different. I had to come up a little harder. Like I, all my losses were done in front of the world. Like I had to do it all like for real. You know what I mean? Like at, at the high level. So. I like I call it like I came up in that nuclear terranium, you know what I'm saying? Like I got a little I got a little extra superhuman juice on me because of the yeah. way I uh pause. <laughs> but yeah, uh, well but but, but uh but, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like they those guys when they 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 probably be talking tough to like their friends and thinking shit sweet and then when they see me in, in the gym, they're 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 mind blown. They're sitting in the corner like like you know, like what happened? I thought I was good. I'm like, you, you are a good kid. It's just, you know, there's levels to the shit. And, uh, you know, yeah. uh, I think that's what we're going to see. Yeah, it's easy. I think also because the way you came in, you came in in a fight that was a lot of, um, it was like a circus show, you know? So right. they want to equate you with that. Like, oh, he's just the guy that they bought. But they forget, like, no, this guy is a heel fucking fighter here. You know what I mean? Like, this guy is part. You know some some serious fucking people in here and beat some some guys who are supposed to be him you know mm -hmm. facts yeah yeah well you said you you know you're like a grappler who likes to strike i mean that i mean it does seem that grappling was what you were leaning on more at first right that definitely was was the bread and butter so what is it about the striking like you know like was that something that you just feel like you've evolved into more is it something that you found that you fell in love with because a lot of times people start out in grappling and they fall in love with the hands and then, then that's all they want to do even if they have a great grappling base you know what i mean so like how do you how do you feel about the striking versus grappling now which would you prefer to do um so yeah i came up like you know i when i first got in the ufc really the jiu-jitsu was like like I, di I didn't have nearly the degree of striking i have now mm -hmm. you know? So I had to lean on that heavy. Like watching like my early fights, I'm like, damn, that kid didn't know that what he was doing. He didn't know how to set things up. Didn't know how to lay traps. Did, you know, wasn't wasn't comfortable there. But I, I absolutely fell in love with it. And like, you know, I've been working super diligently on it. You know, I, I when 
when when we met Uncle Hanach out in California, I was training with guys like Eve. Yep. Yeah. Uh oh. Oh. Breaking coaches on earth, you know what I mean? Like he's amazing. And all these guys down here, it's a gym full of like of like high level strikers. So I've leveled up um in these past like like six eight weeks like tremendously like I, Wait, you know. hold on for one second did you miss some of the chunk of what he said because of the sound well i know you said mind. you were you were training in la with like eve edwards and i know you were yeah you did it cut out for a second uh, you were, and like alan even because alan joban like when you were you were out at um at monster at the monster gym right uh muscle farm muscle farm i mean that's what i mean yeah yeah but yeah, I was training with those guys and like Joe Schilling, like Schilling. Uh, took me under his wing. That was like my boy out there. And, uh, nice. you know, but now I'm down in, in, in at Sanford in South Florida with Henry Hooft. And like, yeah. I think he's like the, one of the best striking coaches in the world. There's great guys like uh, Jason Strout, Dieter Navarro, like great striking coaches. Uh, yeah. the, like the whole, like everything Head down. Fox, La Manche. Ironman. You know what I mean? It's yeah. like a family Ironman. I got myself, Ian Gary, and uh, Gilbert Burns all going to war together. We all been right. going to camp. You know, like just studs on top of studs, and like I just I feel really good. Um, I feel super dialed in, and like you know I'm healthy, I'm happy, I'm I'm you know everything's everything, and everything is beautiful. I'm ready to rock. Nice. Yeah. So you know, I it could, and you know, with a lot of these tough, uh, you know, tough strikers, I definitely had to uh, make sure I'm using my jujitsu sometimes on the mats there. So so both are very sharp. Both are very yeah. sharp. Nice. Nice. Fight. Well, my it's wrestling, like wrestling. Like I've been working on that. Like. You know, net, I've, I've been getting that next level. Like everything is, everything is feeling perfect. I'm, you know, I'm. We, you've seen me become a complete martial arts artist in front of your eyes, and you know, these next few years, I'm excited to rock out in front of everybody, and you know, do, keep doing my thing. We have. I, I seen you striking. I mean, it's leaps and fucking bounce. I mean, like yeah. the last couple of fights compared to the beginning, like you said, is everybody can see that. You know. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Well, yeah, yeah. We're all getting started, baby. We're just getting started. I, 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 I believe that. Well, and also that rear naked choke record in the division. I'm I'm one away from tying that. You know, I, I got a lot I want to do here. Nice, nice. Well, you know, and you have a perfect example um, in your teammate Dorino, is somebody who was only a grappler. I first met him as Vitor Belfort's jujitsu coach, and look at the hands on that guy now, right? So, uh, perfect, perfect example of the evolution that is possible. Um, on quick sidebar. Uh, how do you think he's going to do against Hamzat? Um, obviously, you've been alongside him as he's prepared for this, and that's a massive fight. Like if he can, if he can derail Hamzat, that'd be huge. Yeah, you know he's he's been getting uh, Hamzat's been getting a lot of hype. Uh, Gilbert's a real one though; he's a real vet. You know, he's this is to say it's you know I I think they they got to put a little more respect on Gilbert's name based on what I've been hearing on these uh, little betting things. I think uh -huh. People gonna be a little surprised, you know? Like Gilbert's a dog; he's a little gorilla, and. Uh, you know he, you're not gonna see Gilbert get rolled like like he's been able to roll some of these other guys. So we're gonna have we're gonna probably have to see, you know what what this kid uh, Hamza's really made of. Yeah, that's what makes it so exciting, though. Huh? I know. Yeah. This is definitely the biggest chest for for for. Oh yeah, no, Dorino's the real deal. Yeah. I love it. Hey, so I want to go back to something that you said though, Mickey, about like when you came into the UFC and how you had to basically uh kind of like grow up in front of 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 our eyes and that is very true and that's and that's a and that's a tricky thing and so it is interesting like do you feel not that you had to you know like reintroduce yourself or re reinvent yourself but like you can't you, you know people kind of thought they knew you and you still have so much time like you have so much more of your fight career ahead of you you know what i mean than it is behind you like you are still on the way up and learning did you feel ever that you almost had to like tell people hey that guy that came in with all that hype kind of forget about that guy for a minute and let me just sort of reintroduce you to mickey a little bit i mean re you know re you know I, I don't i don't concern myself too much and i know everyone says that and stuff but really like i don't like i, I just know what it is like i knew i knew what i was getting into from the beginning like i, mm -hmm. I know Guys in the UFC are 10 and 0, 11 and 0, 12. You know that's when you get signed to the UFC. You know what I mean? I knew going in there at 1 and 0, like I was gonna be like up against some tough, some tough challenges. And yeah. uh, you know I've taken them all head on. I've I haven't run away from any one of them. And uh, you know I'm I'm keep going. So I'm gonna just keep growing. I knew I needed to take take those take all the chances to get uh, where I am now and to keep mm -hmm. growing to do what I had to do. You know I like 
I came out of the gate 4-0, and now, you know, I did go back and forth, win-loss, win-loss, win-loss. Yeah. You know what I mean? But, like, I grew a lot from that. So mm -hmm. I knew the game, what the game was. Like, I, I knew what it, uh, what, it, what it was, and, you know, I was, re I was ready for it all. And, uh, you know, I'm here for it. I'm just getting better. I'm, it's like I'm just getting started. I, you know, in, uh, had I not had Dana White in my first fight, I might have just got signed a couple years ago. You know what right. I mean? Like, yeah. it, you know, I, I could I could be like this uh, Malacca, but instead I had to come up different. I And yeah. I'm happy for it. If anyone can handle it, it's me. You know, I, yeah. I've loved it. I've had a great freaking time. And, uh, you know, it's – I'm just – I'm excited. Like, we're – I think we're kind of stepping into, you know, starting to step into really my prime and, like, where, where like, I where, where, where I, sh I should be as, like, a real, you know, legit UFC fighter. And, you know, I'm going to start getting a run. I'm tired of this win one, lose one stuff, you know. Yeah. I want to get going, so it's all, it's only like me and Brock Lesnar. I think the only like one and zero guy signed to the UFC. You know what yeah. I mean? Yeah. It's, it was, it's different, but I know what it is. So I don't I don't feel like I need to, even though I'm explaining it now. I guess just because you asked, but like, I don't really feel yeah. that I need to. You know what I mean? Like it is what it is. Uh, everyone around me knows what I'm capable of, mm -hmm. and uh, you know, so I'm I'm just ready to go get it popping. And I'm just excited. For, I'm excited for this weekend and for the future. I'm just I'm enjoying it all. Nice, love it. Solid. That's solid, man. That's good. I love it. I love it. I love it. I think it's great. And I think I think it's nothing but upside for you. Um, you know, it is funny, though. I, I remember um, when we were in New York and I remember this is so funny. I was in the elevator at the hotel and one of the guys had on your shirt and uh, and I was like, oh, you're a Mickey Gall fan. And uh, and the guy's like, yeah, yeah, that's my boy. That's my boy. And he's like, you know who he is? And I was just like, yeah, bro, I know who he is or whatever or something like that. Or and, he, and the guy was like, you going to the fight? And I was like, yeah, no, I'm pretty, yeah, no, I'm, I guess, I guess I'll go check out the fight or whatever. Um, but for you, um, New York, the whole Jersey thing, like it is a big part of uh, your fan base, obviously. And that's a big deal when you fought there at home and stuff. Um, you know, and I made fun of, uh, sort of made fun of you being the Jersey guy uh, promoting this show. But how in Jersey are you really, Mickey? Because you know, there's part of me that wonders if you could, you could have been a full on Jersey guy, right? Like you, you could, you could pull that off if you wanted to. I mean, I'm Jersey to the bone. <laughs> Jersey as hell. I, 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 you know, I'm, I'm down the shore in the summers like that. I've, I've, you know, I, I, yeah. I, I, I live, I live now. I live in Florida where I can throw a rock to the ocean from my house. Yeah. 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 Nice. So I, I brought a little Jersey, Jersey Shore, a little Jersey down to Florida. Um, nice. You know, you need you need to bring your hair back though. To be fair, if you're gonna be heel Jersey, I mean, when you're done, you're gonna no, no, you're fine. But the really? fucking Jerseyness, you need to bring the hair higher here with a fade or whatever. You know, like a light skin fade. See, man, I can't be doing that hair gel stuff. Like I trained at least two times a day. Like I can't be yeah. putting gel in six times a day or whatever it is. Like you know what I mean? Like it's it's too much. Don't you I, don't you think that can be an asset to the fight, though? You know how, like, sometimes like, blood drip down, blood drip into the eyes of the people here. Imagine that that if you have that Jerry Curl juice or whatever the fuck they put in there. No Jerry Curl, Curl juice. That's what I use. And then it drip into the eyes. It burn that one, the peroxide in there or whatever. <laughs> ah, there's definitely. I, I, you got some, uh, some tactics. That is, I uh, use everything to my advantage. I'm over here taking notes, brother. I know. <laughs> yeah. No, nah, I never said punch, brother. Come so, on, come on. Yeah, go ahead. So it is spring it is spring break time now and stuff like that. So back in the day, would you have been at the shore right now for spring break? No, no, it's too cold. That's see, that's the thing. In Jersey's like you get like that's three true. months at best of like That's night. right, that's true, right. Duh. It's still too you know freezing I mean? now. Yeah, yeah so they going would, somewhere you else. Gone to Florida. They go they going to to Florida, they're going to Mexico, right. so places like that. That's yeah. right. Yeah. So yeah, it's 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 uh it's like Jersey Jersey Shore weather all the time where I'm at now. That's right, that's right, that's right, that's right. Right, because I'm dumb. Like I lived in New England, and yeah, we would we would have to leave to go to get to something warm. And like you said, yeah, we'd have a couple of good months um, of good weather and stuff like that. And then so yeah. And then when you're always... a good looking kid um, in the Jersey Shore, you're gonna have to learn how to fight anyway because these guys yeah. are gonna test you. And they're gonna right. test you because you, if you walk in with a fine-looking girl, they're gonna talk shit to you and try to to uh, to diss you in front of the girl, Paul. Yeah, I've gotten some practice uh, looking like this in Jersey growing up. You know what I mean? 
definitely get a little. Everyone in Jersey uh, thinks they can fight, and you know, some of them can, but yeah. not, 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 yeah. I wouldn't. But I ran into too much. Did you did you get in bar fights? Are you that guy? Sure, I got in a couple. I think that's just, I guess just a part of growing up. I mean, I didn't like. Uh, I wasn't like a big like street fight or anything crazy, but like you know, stuff happens. You know what I mean? Like you, he you was know. a lover. Yes, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Did you ever used to wear like um, like a jacket with your face spray painted, like um, <laughs> airbrush on your jacket? No, but or I your I, pants. But, no, 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 I don't get that reference though. Well, I would. That sounds. Like, oh, maybe that's shirts. early. Maybe that's I early. I was wearing airbrush shirts in the nineties. Yeah, like it, like they used to have like a lot of those guys, uh, those Guido kind of guys used to wear like airbrush shit. You know, and it might have like a picture of their girlfriend on their jeans, right, or even a like picture Candace. of themselves. Guys, yeah. I'm very young. I know, God, are you? That's true. That's true. I just look young, but I mean old, boy. Huh? Nah, you guys are both beautiful. Get out of here. Well, well that's you, true. I am beautiful, God. Are you? For those At least know, me. The, the airbrush shirt should make a comeback because those were kind of dope. Yeah, I, I, I entertain. Shirt with my face on it. I would rock that for sure. Ooh. I, I would bring that back for sure. So yeah, if anyone's listening, ma make us a set so we can wear it. We'll take a picture together. That'd be dope. That'd be amazing. I was entertained the idea of making um, a gi that is, you know how I have the denim gi? Yeah. yeah. But doing a line of that one that have like Hinach hairbrush and stuff, you know? I mean, airbrush, you know, like of me, pictures of my face, Dude, my yeah. body, Crazy. my physique. People yeah. love that. I think they would love that. Yeah. So, so listen, you mentioned before that you did have a, a patch where you kind of alternated wins and losses, wins and losses. When you do look back on that stuff, do you, do you recognize what went wrong on the time that didn't go your way and, and how, how now at Sanford and now with just more maturity that you're able to, to see that and recognize? Yeah, absolutely. Like, uh, yeah. I mean, I, there was a lot of, uh, you know, in my, in my, like my brother LJ said, would said this after a fight. And there's just, you know, there's certain like tactical things that if I had I done differently, those fights could have mm -hmm. gone different ways. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Even with, uh, where my, my skill set was in the beginning compared to where it is now. Like certain, I, I make certain different, you know, tactical or strategic moves, like things would be different. The, uh, so I, the way I look at it is I only, uh, the only fight I really lost was the Diego Sanchez one. But that's because I went in there with kidney failure and like had like a, you know, probably uh -huh. shouldn't have could have pulled out like was barely had bat like didn't have balance in like the first minute like i was like, oh no really was, yeah ah. no it's, but uh all the other ones i just all the other ones i just ran out of time yeah, yeah. well so, i should have pulled out a lot of time that i didn't either and it's cost it's cost me for him hey man it gets it, yeah it gets the best of us so in an ideal world then, Nikki, uh, what is your, you know, what do your next few fights look like? Like, you know, how, how would you map this out? Do you have people in mind that you would like to fight? Oh, man, yeah. I, you know, I, I, of course, you know, we, uh, you know, I, everybody. I, I'm happy to be in the UFC. I, I want to face the best guys. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And that's, that's where they're at. So this is, you know, this is where I, I want to be. I, you know, I, I want to get myself a ranking uh by you know i i think i need i need a couple more wins but i'd like to have mm -hmm. a number beside my name uh you know maybe by the end of the year you know i've yeah. had I'd, I'd like to get like maybe i think i get three more in um after wow. you know i stay active like get you know that that's that's the idea just stay active because the more reps i get just the, the bigger problem i'm gonna be mm -hmm. um so you know i'm just gonna keep plugging and uh yeah just keep going i i'd you know particular names now i'm focused on uh, this kid a lot on Saturday, you know, I'm just gonna, I'm just, like I said, I'm just gonna enjoy it. I'm just gonna go out there. I'm gonna get to step into that gladiator pit. I get to hear the crowd. It's been yeah. a while. I've been fighting at the apex in Vegas for, you know, it's been about yeah. like maybe over three years since I got like a big, nice crowd. And, you yeah. know, up for that, I'm a, you know, I'm a showman. I like, I like feeling that crowd. I like feeling that energy. I, I want to, you know, I want to, I want to give them blood. You know what I mean? His or mine, whatever it takes to get the job done. You know what I mean? I want to, I want to go. I, I, I'm just excited. I'm, I'm really like, this is the nice part. I put in all the hard work, everything held, everything held up beautifully, and now we're ready to go. What what kind of song you got planned? You got a special song planned for the people to enjoy while you walk out for them? You'll know what it is. 
Oh, I forgot. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, of course, of course. Right. Of course. And then, I forgot. You remember, oh. you now? What Wait, was what? that? Oh, you know, you know, Karen. So I do that Wait, one. See, so I didn't hear you. Hey, Mickey. So then it starts with the Hey, Mickey, then it turns into the Sopranos theme song. That's right. Woke yeah. up this morning. That's right, because yeah. I remember the last time you fought at the Jersey. Apex, we were all like, oh, yeah. God damn. Yeah. Like that song, it, it just, it's the Sopranos is so, and I just remember feeling that booming through the building and it was just like, oh my God, this is yeah. so good. It's so good. What a great walkout song. I love it. Yeah. Dude. That so what's the corniest, so what's the corny, okay, first of all, I got a question for you, because I know we had that picture of the house in Jersey Shore, and it <laughs> had like a, a Italian flag. Now, I'm guessing you're not, you're at least not fully Italian. Are you Irish? I don't know. I, uh, man, I'm a mutt. I'm a, I'm a European mutt. I, well, that's what I always was growing up. I took one of those ancestry tests, uh, and you're like, African. I, so, <laughs> so I, uh, I, I, uh, my whole life, I was like, my grandfather's 100% Italian, so I'm at least, tw I'm tw my oh, mom's no shit. 25. I was, I, my dad has none, so I, I was like, I'm 25. Find oh, out, God. I only have five. I only got five of that somehow, or else something was going on over there. But, uh, so what I, uh, what I found out was I'm actually like, I'm, I'm 60%, uh, like from the Germanic tribes. Oh, God, are you? Like, okay. they became the Vikings. They lived above the Romans. They were like they called them like the the Germanic like barbarians, and they lived a bunch yeah. of Romans. The Romans couldn't conquer them. They like, couldn't oh, the take the barbarian. Them. Yeah, exactly. That's, that's the barbarians that's, is a powerful like a Conan. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Conan I think they're doing the show about, about, like the barbarians or something like that. I think there's like a show on Netflix. I haven't checked it out yet. But, yeah. yeah. Don't they fight that ones in the beginning of Gladiator? Isn't he fighting a bunch of Germanic whatever the? Yes, barbarian? that's what they're beginning, and they and they they yeah. uh yeah. They don't beat them. Yeah, but that's the movies, got I know, I know, I know. But that's oh, real wait, life. Who? Yeah, they don't they, beat they, the, they don't beat the Germanic. Right, that's good. That's a good thing. Yeah, true, no, true. They would them, bring them into like their their army and be like uh like kind of like like uh captains of their army and stuff. They had to just let them be by the sea, let them do their thing, you know. Yeah. Yeah, because they was wiling out the those Germanic. The, yeah. The well, yeah, because I the for some reason I I thought you were Irish. I got yeah, because of Mickey. Yeah, that's why. yes. That's why I, I always thought I was like, you know, growing up I was like I'm Irish, English, German, uh, yeah, you know, all that Italian, all, all that stuff, just like a European mutt. But yeah, yeah. Then I, I, I mean, if these ancestry things are right, you know, that's what they say. Well, then, cool. Well, then the Jersey should then because I was just like, oh, I hope I'm not offending him with all this Italian stuff all over the all over the yeah. Jersey Shore. You know what though. <laughs> People we, in Jersey, we're, we're like culturally Italian. We all are. Exactly. That's, the, my buddy, that's the thing. My, my buddy Gerard will disagree. He's like, nah, just because we talk like this, like that's not Italian. Italians just claim that stuff. That's just East Coast stuff. That's what he says. That's yeah, who nah. I, that's you Italian. Guys, on, you guys it's got, Italian. I'm podcast. from the East Coast too, and I don't yeah. do this. Yeah, I just started a podcast with my man Gerard. It's called the MGGM Show. You guys got to come on. Love to yeah, have we, you. Any, any time, my brother. For sure. But yeah, yeah I, I noticed that like if, if you got... Italian, if, if you grew up in an Italian neighborhood, you're gonna sound like you're fucking Italian. I know Puerto Rican guys that, that talk like they're fucking mafioso Italian. And the flip side, uh, if you're Italian, you grew up around Puerto Ricans and blacks, and you, guess what? You're gonna sound like them, you know? It's just the way it works. Yeah. You, you, you're gonna try to fit in for her, and you're gonna be driving an IHOC Z28. <laughs> You know, Nikki, what was your, what was your, what was your car when you, when I, like, what was your, what was your car? Um, my first car? Yeah. Had, and uh, like, what were you driving in high school and college? Like, what were you driving? So I had like this, uh, crappy, like Impala that when I would stop would like everyone, I couldn't sneak uh, up. On I, my brakes were going from the moment I tapped it, you heard, you heard me coming. So no drive-bys for you. No drive-bys. No, no, no. Nah, you need nah. an electric car for that shit. Yeah, for real, right? Keep it up. <laughs> for for oh, real. I'm surprised in the hood they don't have more like people with electric car. Like I'm gonna sneak up on this nigga right quick. Um, Seriously. Yeah, for real. Yo, do you see that Prius mother? Ever? Yeah, <laughs> the Prius, the Leaf or whatever. Um, the Leaf. But you never had one of those like a white kit it out like a uh, car like what like, yeah i'm we in a different time period they they probably do different shit we, we're thinking guess, about the 80s yeah, and the 90s 
Yeah, I was born in 92. So like I what, said. What, what's the stereotypical Guido car nowadays? Man, you know, like, no, you'd have to ask my boy, uh, my boy, Roger Matthews. He was King Guido back in the day. <laughs> Uh, Roger Matthews. That don't sound a, very he does, he does a podcast with Frankie, Frankie Edgar. Oh nice. Oh. He's he was uh married to Jay Wow, but I, I call him King Guido. He's oh. Like, oh dude in like the you know, like like you That's see him, he's big, it. he looks like a biker gang member, but he's also wait. like he had all that Guido wear on. So was he wait what was he when Jay Wow because I remember I mean I did watch Jersey Shore for a few seasons and then I had to stop, but I, I think I watched like the season that with in that summer house, I did see that one. But she was, was he on the show then? A little bit, just like as her boyfriend. Right. Okay. But yeah, he's a cool. He's a really cool dude. He's got a podcast with Frankie now. Um, nice. Was it the? What she was called? This Frankie. The camp, Frankie. Uh, something. Camp and the Tramp. Yeah. Oh, he's nice. the Tramp. He's the Tramp. Carajo. And then where does Jay Wall fit into that? That's the ex. That's the ex. That's oh, the baby okay. mom. Anyway, yeah. She used to look good for her, but I don't know. I don't know what well, she looked like now. Me neither. Well, you don't want to say. I, I, that's <laughs> <just boring. laughs> yeah, for her, I got you. Oh. Well, don't put it on I'm willing spot. to guess she probably have it like a duck, big. You know how all the girls now have the fucking lips that go like that, boy. Yeah, yeah. That look yeah, like a wax some, lip. They all had some glow ups and like like their lips physically like blew up. But and it makes like, exa like, exactly. Like it. It's a blow up. Yeah, yeah, why why they do that? It it, it make everybody mouth look the same. Yeah, man, I don't know. It's, that stuff's in right now. We got fake butts running around. We got fake all this stuff. You know what I mean? Ah. I don't. For the record, ah. well, we don't believe I, you. I, oh, we know this you're the same. Oh, yeah, pictures, you pictures. Or it didn't happen. You're gifted. <laughs> you're blessed. Thanks. We want to be blessed. You. Hey, so what do you uh, on the downtime, Mickey? What do you what do you do for fun, right? Because you are in Florida. I mean, it's beautiful. My brother lives in Florida. My mom lives in Florida. My brother's an avid golfer. Like, have you picked up golf? Like, what do you what are you doing now that you're in Florida? Do you go? Are you like you said you go to the beach a lot? But like, are you a gamer? What do you do when you're just chilling and you're trying to take your brain your brain off of the fight? Not a video gamer. Um, you know, I like I like I said, I live like right. I could walk to the onto the ocean from my place. So nice. like I like the ocean. I've always been like like my Jersey Shore isn't like the, all that fist bumping type stuff. Like I, I'm in the ocean every day. Like yeah. like getting out in the sun and like doing that type of stuff. Nice. So I'm looking forward to doing that when I get home. Like uh, you know, well, I'm I'm gonna get in there for sure. You know, I like to like have a good time, go eat some good food. You know, kick it, hang out. You know, I'm a yeah. I don't like like things. I just you know make those good moments, those good memories. That's what I that's what I like to chase and uh. Yeah, you know, just 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 living in the moment type stuff, you know, just just having a good time. Yeah, I'm I don't have I don't really have too many hobbies, you know. I'm not I especially since I've been in Florida, like I've just been training. I'm in the gym, you know. I'm I'm often like the first first there, last to leave. Like I I, nice. I, I like it. I have fun, you know what I mean? Like uh, that, there's nothing I'd rather be doing. Like I, I really dig it. I uh, yeah, man. I and but actually speaking of golf, I got uh, there's a couple guys at the gym. Uh, Ian Gary and uh, Logan Storley are both uh, golf guys. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna go. You know, I'm I, I I'm competitive, but I'm I'm gonna have to keep myself in, in check a little bit because they're probably gonna be a little better than me. But I, I want to learn the game and like I'll check that out a little bit. Uh, have you ever did it before? Well, it's I have, so fun. Like a handful of times, only like a handful of times. It's I've never so did fun. it my whole life, not one. All right, it's well then so you need to go together so I can feel good about myself. You can. We can bring some whatever. They drink a lot of beer when they play that. Now, hey, it, that sounds fun. Yeah, golf, I'm down for that. Golfing. Golfing is so fun. Like I would do it. I haven't played in a really long time, but I have my own clubs and stuff like that. Like I would love to play more than I do. But even even if you don't go fully play golf, and these people don't pay me, but I love Top Golf, and they're finally opening one up here, uh, Hanato. It's gonna be my hangout. Also, What's the Top Golf? What is that? Uh, top, so Top Golf is where you go, and like there's one in Vegas at the MGM there. You know, and it's like they have great food and drinks and it's like there's four or five layers of like are stacked up you know thing and you, and you it's a driving range basically it's just a driving range but there's different games you can play because they have different holes set up at different lengths and stuff and so there's different kind of games you can play with each other in your bay um or oh, then there's wait like we're gonna play games together in the bay yeah well go golf games like but you said there was different lengths and stuff hole. like that God, i can't even make the golf analogies now you bring it you're all gonna be terrible but you play a game about getting 
who if you can get it in that hole or who gets who i'm gonna bring my knife in. that's all, all the, i got all of the things now are gonna sound terrible okay. Who's got long balls? Wait, what's the got... difference between my nine iron and the wood or whatever? Is a wood come in different sizes or whatever? Oh no. Yeah, the woods do come in different sizes. There's a three, five, and then that one. Oh god, oh, you stay away from the one. God, oh. No, actually, the one is the one you want. Oh well, oh that's like the I've one. Telling people that for years. <laughs> yeah, the <laughs> the one. You want the one. The one. <laughs> oh god. Oh. Um, oh, anyway. But they're gonna open a top golf here, and that was a long story. But that is gonna soon become my uh, my hangout spot because I do love golfing. But Mickey, it's it's a really fun hobby, and it's like the cool thing about it is like yeah, it's social. You do it with your friend, like you can have a business meeting out there. You can do it all year round at Florida. Like you you'll have fun if you actually pick that up as a hobby. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna check it out. Seems nice, you know, outside. Seems like a good little thing. A little <laughs> little slow pace for me, but I guess that's where the beer comes in. Yeah, that, and you gotta go with people you like to hang out with, cause or else it's gonna be awkward for her. It'd be brutal, right? Yeah. Oh, can you imagine? Yeah. Ah, yeah. Fuck that. No point. Nah, I don't want hey. that. Um, and so I, before you go though, I want to just get your take. Um, and we are over on the after party after the show. People should know that we do uh, the Tuesday night festivities after party. Hanato and I take it over to YouTube and the festivities website. We do more. We talk, uh, we're going to be talking about UFC 273. We're going to be talking about, um, um, some more spring break stuff, but also we have this action hero bracket, Mickey. So this is what we were, we were talking about a little bit. And I do want to know your take. Um, well, you want to get his, you want to get what led up to that and see where he yeah, plays in the potential. That's a good idea. Okay, so here's, here, we had several uh, competitors in this, in this bracket. Um, so first and foremost, who would you take if you were looking at uh, Terminator versus RoboCop? Who would you take? And this is not, this is not the quality of movie. Is is who, which character would beat which character for him? Yeah. Man, you guys are dating me a little again. I don't, never saw RoboCop. Oh, God, I do. Do you know what he looked like at least? Honestly, no, I'm picturing the, the, the guy the guy that Terminator fought dressed as a cop in the movie. It's a very different Who situation. Ran like this? Who ran out like, like yeah, this? well, this guy moved like this. Just imagine he moved like this. Uh, I'm gonna have to do some some research to get back that. but I gotta go I gotta go uh, Terminator. Okay. Well, that's fine. Cause Good, because my, that's, my, what, one, that's what that's everybody who does, anyway. right? If we don't know, we just pick an answer anyway. Right? Why yeah. you want? Terminator you, by luck, sure. you won. Okay, you so won. for sure. <laughs> who would you take in Jason Bourne versus John Wick? Huh. Both are undefeated. <laughs> True. <laughs> um, someone's someone's oak has got to go. Um, yeah. I'm going to go John Wick. Okay. Exact. Me but too. why? But why? Um. Cause man, they killed his fucking beagle, and like that type of rage, like you don't you don't mess with a man's beagle. Nobody brought up that point, and that's very true. Nah, you don't you don't you oh nah, you don't do that. You don't mess with a dog. That's you're right. no, you're you're gonna just you're gonna get another gear. You're right. Hanato would freak out if somebody messed with his Rudy. I mean, anytime anybody even look sideways at my dog, it's you know. it's on. <laughs> yeah. It's on. Okay. So, so in that bracket, then we have Terminator versus uh, John Wick. Okay, so what do you? Okay, so the Taken movies. The guy's name is his name is Brian Mills, but nobody know his name. But his name is Brian Mills. But that's the guy from Taken, versus Maximus Decimus Meridus. You know Russell Crowe from Gladiator. Who wins? Liam um, Neeson from Taken or Russell Crowe from Ga Gladiator? Who wins? I, I mean, Philly's kind of a lame answer, but Taken's got guns. Yeah, that's one point. And then, you know what? We came to the conclusion that, I mean, through also a lot of his search and other guests and stuff, that that he probably have the benefit of modern hand-to-hand -hand combat techniques. Yeah, yeah. But, you know, but swords, that's, that's an extra distance they got to cover. That's why the guns are kind of nice there, you know? True, true, sure, sure. true. Well, yes, the majority also picked Brian Mills from Taken. Okay. Sorry, Russell Crowe. Uh, sorry, Maximus. And then the last one was Rambo versus John McClane. Of course, John McClane of the Die Hard movies. And by it. the way, sidebar, 
Let's pour a little out for Bruce Willis, who said he is stepping away from uh, acting due to aphasia, which is so, it's just so sad. I love Bruce Willis. Yeah, I thought he was suffering from that years ago because he's lost his hair. I thought he it's the same stuff. That's as that's alopecia. Oh God, are you my bad? That's the James Hey, we don't James. talk about that. I I, I agree. I get bald, but you can't ever talk about a female being bald. I don't want to talk about that. Hey. He, but he was, I got confused because there was uh, both No, no. God, and I, you're right, Nikki, don't go there. But no, let's, okay. yeah. clearly, clearly a very touchy to topic. We don't, yeah, yeah very. very no. You don't make fun of a women's uh, oh, uh, bow that head. Whole... That's an overreact, whatever. It's just... Oh, well, I, yeah, I didn't even need to bring it up. I shouldn't have said I nothing. I for uh, Will Smith on that shit, but I shouldn't have even said nothing. I, I've, been, I mean, I've been exhaust okay. from this. Like, but so, I yeah. not myself. So, the next so day, who are you taking, John? By like, by like, new. Trust me, so was I, Paul. Huh? So, so, who, so who are you taking though, John McClane versus Rambo? Who wins? I got Rambo. Okay. That's an easy okay. one. God, are you? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Like a cop. Well, that's what everybody a picked versus too. Say, uh, like a trained like special forces. You got yeah. special. A green bahay. Levels. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Okay. So you so so then it became Terminator versus John Wick, and Taken Brian Mills versus Rambo. So who do you have Terminator versus John Wick? Who are you taking? Um, I could just finish this whole thing. I'm going Terminator. Dude's a robot. Okay, but just don't forget this, uh, Mickey Gall. We got like you could poke us with a needle and like we bleed. You know what I However, mean? Like, kind of soft, like you know what I mean? Like it's uh, I got. However, go he got beat by a chick, uh, in the first movie. God, are you? Right, right. But she. Uh, I mean, and if a girl can do it. Yeah, I mean, Grinch, it, it, they can be get under your skin. He knows. I hate to tell you, Mickey. Yeah, they got powers. I hate to tell you, Mickey, but but general consensus actually went with John Wick over Terminator on that one. Really? Because of the resourcefulness. Mm, yeah. Someone hey, just said. But the general consensus I saw online, uh, I can't. I I would lose a fight to Bruce Lee. Do you guys think about that? Oh, that's right. What? Yeah. How'd they put you two together out of all the fucking people? Look, look. No, you said first, you would beat Bruce. In the first episode of uh, the NGGM show of, like, my podcast, not just, you know, a plug, but uh, I, my buddy was <laughs> like... Go for it. He was like, uh, hey, man, my friends, like, uh, they're look, look, they were asking me the other day when they looked you up, they saw um, you are getting tuned up by Bruce Lee, and I was like, oh, that's funny. It must be, like, the video game or something. And he, he was kind of like, he like said something about it. I was like, bro, like he, like asking. And I was like, bro, I would fuck Bruce Lee up. Like for the first part, I'm a hundred pounds heavier, like almost a foot taller. Bruce Lee but said it, himself that if someone with like uh, Western boxing and wrestling could defeat him in a fight. I have both of those, the game's evolved. I'm a way bigger human, it's way class for a reason. I mean, anyone who's educated, like, you know, I know I don't need to sell it to you guys, but like, it's just it, the, the general consensus online Hell, yeah. I got a heat for that. It was but really you did. I saw that. It was, it was It's hilarious. one of those things that go um over like a lead balloon. It's like, it's like to see like an old man or like your your grandpa or whatever. Like, yeah, I I will beat my grandpa's ass. You know what I mean? It's like, well, people yeah, just but, don't want to hear it. Idea, you yeah, know? but I, but, I, but if I say I beat my grandpa's ass in his prime, you know what I mean? But now, but, God, are you? No, well, I mean now, you know, R.I.P. <laughs> You know, I just, I, I don't know. I guess it, it, it was funny because it just, it came up organically and it just like, it went nuts. Yeah, that's no, not, I you're not going to gain any People were freaking out that. about that. No, people I, I, were mad, mad that you said that. Real. I'm going to keep it real all the time. Like, whatever. I don't care. Like, you know what I mean? Everyone's trying to like, they're killing like the individuality of people. Like, it's like, you got to follow. If you don't have this opinion, you're like, get out of here. You know what I mean? Like, forget yeah. the fact that we're all different. We all feel differently. That's what makes everybody equal. The fact that we're all different is what makes us equal. Like, the fact that like people are are like afraid to have opinions and stuff like that nowadays it's nuts man it's it's the individuality is beautiful no one person's the same and you know i i want people to keep being people be be real you know what i mean i want people well, to like me oh uh, look what we got here uh oh look who's walking in my room in a towel we got like me. we got the future Everyone oh god are you carry up in here <laughs> what's oh, up god, are you? I just hear such a beautiful bro i was voice. talking about you oh you I can just hear you beautiful. First of all, I was talking about us golfing, but second oh. of all, yeah, you're gonna take him golfing. 
Speaking of beautiful voice, could you guys please get Ian to sing a little okay. something? This Ian, can you sing? What, what are you What are you known for? I just like me. I I like singing. I just love singing. I love singing He's in the good. shower. I love singing in the car. I love a good boogie. I love a good groove. It depends. <laughs> Thing. It really depends what's on. It really depends Think, what. Sing some like um eighties black H and B songs. I hey dude, I was fucking doing like uh, Vaseline or Ron. I was doing some fucking spam. Now you get fucked by a white boy. When <laughs> such a good one to go to um oh man i just honestly do you know what like lately it's been like bruno mars and anderson pack have been dude that's what i listened to right before we went on silk sonic is my jam you hear that though you hear that the kid's got a voice oh god are you how are you guys good we're doing very good my brother are you 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 leaning out for 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 camp true huh yeah, he's fighting this weekend. Gotta get. Yeah, we've just been working out. I just. Who are you fighting? Darian Weeks. Oh yeah, yeah, that. Yeah, that African American gentleman for him. That's irrelevant. He's. It's me that everyone wants to see, right? Don't get lost in his curls, the waves and the curls he have. Don't be influenced by those one. He that guy Weeks. Dude, the problem is people get lost in how beautiful I am. I, I don't blame that one. They think that you're 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 like a baby face, like a, ba Ian, like a baby. Ian, are you from boy. where? Where exactly are you from, Ian? Dublin, Ireland. Dublin, right? Exactly. Dublin. So I've been to Dublin eh. only once, and only for a couple of days. I really want to go back. I loved it. Well, hopefully, we bring the UFC back to Dublin, right? I hope so. And yeah. we wanna, we wanna. Uh, um, how come? How come? Uh, Conor oh, McGregor wait. always say like, um. Probe or number twelve wanna wanna uh, help our brave first responders or whatever. You know how you go like and and Probe or twelve is one of them or what? how come he sound like don't how come he don't sound like like you exactly? <laughs> it's like Inception. You do yeah. in accents, bro. But Love it. <laughs> Connor's no, got no, a, no. Um, he's from a different part of Dublin. He's got a ticker accent. You know, he gets a bit ticker. He gets a bit grittier. Um. That's just the way it is. They just... But he said like "em" all the time, like one of them. You know, like proper number twelve is one of them. You know that one? How would you say his name, Uncle Harach? Conor McGregor. Uh, this guy right here. Ian McGregor. Me, Ian McGregor. Ian Getty. Ian Getty. Ian Getty. I would say, I would say proper Ian Getty. Ian Getty. Oh, Getty. Yes, oh, well, Getty. I'm trying to honor. I'm trying yeah, to. Oh, to say, I know. I'm like it's El Getty. Futuro, yeah. Soy. yeah. Well, I'm trying to honor your 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 fucking um your Dublin your Dublin accent for her. Um, I love. I, I love you, leaders. I'm gonna go shower. I, I love mean. that. You some fucking Irish spring me, lad. <laughs> <laughs> right. up, bro. I love I'll you, bro. See you. see you later, guys. See oh, you, Ian. Ian Gary. I never talked to that guy before. I mean, Great. what a lovely man! I, I never him. trust a man with true uh, um, first name as a as a. As no, a it's not G A R Y. Name. It's G E R R Y. But I don't care. Great. It sounds like Gary, it's and I don't trust man. people with true half with last name as uh, like Harrison Ford. You can't trust a person like that, kind of. I agree. I think these those those are great rules. There's something about okay. that, guys. Okay. Yeah. Well, listen, but, but yeah, uh, Mickey. In like he's in a he's check him out this weekend. He's in, he's gonna do his thing. Yeah. Oh him. no, I love it. I love it. I love it. Yeah, he's awesome. And he's uh. I, you know, wait, I gotta say something. I gotta say what? something. So in the comments, of course, because of the singing and the guy was holding your shoulder blades or whatever. Of course, all the guys who is, who is half of uh, you know what anyway. Is saying, is saying, oh, that's gay, bro. That's gay. It was, I was enjoying but it. The funny stuff is, they're saying that, but they about to watch. They about to pay money to watch a whole in their underwear hostel of guys in the underwear, like even more, all up on each other's flat. Oh God, are you? And yeah. in between each other's legs, all this kind of stuff, mounting the guys, and. That's not gay, but two, but two guys being friends here and they train together, but they happen to have their fucking shirts off. Now he's gay for him. Yes. Yeah. I mean, him coming in the towel is not the best look, but I, you know. I understand that. But it's just funny because people won't leave that one alone. I knew Here's once we little... started, I, I went, oh, God, are you? Here we go. Here's a little secret. Yeah. I'm not mad at it. 
Well, of course you're not mad at your fans. It's your fantasy. Um, <laughs> well, look at these young, lovely young men shirtless. You, and, you're like fine white and, and better with age, huh? You've been I yeah, I, I do. Like I, 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 thirty years, twenty years. I don't know how long I. Oh, you're talking to her. What she got? Uh oh. You got probably about forty He's now. You've probably been hot for forty years. What does that mean? You froze. You froze. Uh -oh. You froze. Same thing. Same thing. Shit. <laughs> well, now people okay. are laughing at me. Gotta, like, watch. We gotta watch with the uh, the. I don't. I can't even say it. See what I mean? <laughs> Go ahead. No, please. You gotta watch it with the pause talk now. Oh yeah. Exactly. Pause. Exactly. Pause. Hey, listen. But we're yeah. gonna let you get out of here uh, before it gets really, really. We never know where it's gonna go. Yeah, it's gonna go. Yeah. Inappropriate. But um, listen, I'm well, I'm glad that you were able to talk with us, and um, it's exciting to see, you know, that you really do have so much more of your fighting future ahead of you, and uh, so I'm looking forward to seeing you in action at UFC 273. Uh, but yeah, I'm just excited for you to join us. And, and Hanato, was there anything else you needed to add? Or no, I want to let the guy through. You know, fucking, he's got the fight coming up. I don't want to, you know, another time we're gonna bust his chops and fuck with him and talk <laughs> to him and stuff. But but he let him to enjoy until he lacks. You know. Yeah. yeah. He's got. All right. Oh, uh, like I said, I'd love to have you guys uh, do my podcast. We just got started. Be but, fun. Uh, you know, I know you guys are out in LA, so I'll uh, I'll, I'll get with you guys yeah. out whenever I'm out Ta there. Tell and them uh, again the full name of your podcast and all that shit. It's the MGGM show. Uh, Mickey Gall and Gerard Michaels. The MGGM. 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 MGGM show. That's it. But yeah, yeah, big big fans of both you guys for forever. Uh, thanks for having me on. Anytime Thank you guys, my brother. Yeah. Okay. All right, and, cool, uh, Mickey. Make sure Take that uh, Ian get all those spots with the Irish Spring for him. I'll be right on it, guys. That's why I gotta go. You got a loofah, that one. Okay. Yeah, you got a loofah. All right, my brother. Later, Ciao. Mickey. Bye. <laughs> oh, my <God. laughs> oh, my God. That's hilarious. You guys, you guys, that's so, people, people are crazy. Like, people are crazy saying ridiculous stuff. Well, you know, they was going to say, I mean, it's low hanging fruit for her, like Mike Johnson. For it, her. Yeah. Yeah. But wait, oh, now he's spinning. Do you still uh -oh. see him? I don't know if he don't know that that he's gone yet, but at least it's a I nice picture. At least it didn't look fucked up. Okay, there we go. Oh, there we go. No, but listen, because people are crazy, and I was thinking the same thing too. I was like, look how cute they are. But like, but you're right. Like, but of course, people are going to take it to. Well, the when extreme. you see, uh, when two guys is not wearing a shirt, and then you don't see the rest of them, and then you right. see one guy on the shoulders, right. Then of course, you know, it's it's one of those things too, because um when you train with someone all the time, you touching them all the fuck so That's much. Right. Shit like that is like not even you're not even conscious sometimes of shit like that. I literally think of it as as like lion cubs or puppies God, wrestling I mean. and playing like but that sounds that's how I feel. <laughs> <laughs> that make it sound extra gay though, like the word cub. Like I, I look oh. at it as two cubs just just nuzzling each other. No, but I, I I think of it as like oh, God, oh, just God. a very playful, um competitive, fun, playful thing. Like to me it's it doesn't have any you know it doesn't have any sexuality to it because obviously I'm I I, I I'm, How do you know? Well I'm just saying this is the, I, what, I know, is there I something know. wrong with that? Wait a second. No. So Karen Branch, if those two guys, gentlemen, is want to do lion cub stuff and <laughs> hollow hound and nuzzle, I'm okay with it. What if, what if he um, Mickey Gao is like nibble him on the nape of his neck or whatever to bring him cool. out the shower and onto the great. <laughs> That's all. That that yeah. Okay. Good. Because well, if you mean, said why that, why would I care? Huh? Are they filming? What was that? I said, why would I? Why would I care? And are they filming? Oh God, are you? <laughs> Dude, I. Oh, so, I somebody love. said Mata Leon. That's true. Like, the Mata Leon. That's what the here naked choke. I know. But they take. Well, you remember those? Remember when people they made the. What is it? The the the. It's not the inspirational 
posters or whatever, but the, the non inspiring but there's the one that says jujitsu. It's only gay if you make eye contact yeah, exactly. with Shogun and Vandy. Exactly. And they're like, Yeah, they look like so they're having the time of their life, like on some <laughs> <laughs> It's the great, it's the greatest, funniest thing ever. Because you know those two are like the baddest of yeah. badass. And it's one of those so stuff. You would never ever, nobody's ever gonna step to Vanderlei or no. Shoga to be like, you're a little no. bitch. You know what I mean? Like, no. And even if they was a hundred percent gay, they could still beat whoever's ass anyway, so even what? if that's what they was doing, you know? It don't so matter. Um but yeah, cares? I uh you had you have to get over that squeamish shit heel quick when you yeah. when you start and some guys can't take it see so i would imagine that right because some guys really don't um just don't understand like can't can't give up that personal well, space well huh? that and also some female don't like it either like some female ju like it ju just some people don't like to be that into there's a very intimate setting for her well i will say this i can i can understand for some women going to a jujitsu class that is co-ed i can understand how some women would not like rolling with men and you know because of who knows what has happened in the past in their life or just their comfortability with men well, i could i could definitely see how some Karen people do not want to roll co-ed that's why i check it upon myself if ever there's a new woman who came to class who's squeamish when the bell hang i go like this no no i got this i take them to the corner like in the like a little place that's more quiet away from all this noise and then i show them slowly you know i mean do a slow hold with the one and then i show them some stuff and you know tell them about some of my accomplishments so they can have some inspiration show them some video maybe take them out for like chai food afterward maybe drink karaoke then afterward in a course then then i'm not as hands-on afterwards i'm I lose interest, and I let them to do the group class. I go, oh, God, I let somebody else to train you, God, you? Well, well, you just brought up after or intercourse. Uh, that's true. Intercourse, after course. <laughs> I'm thinking of the fo first course, after second party. course. After party. It's time for us to wrap up here and get ready for the after party. Um, for folks who know, we start the after party in moments, really, just minutes from now, over on YouTube and on festivities.com. Hinatu and I, we will debate further this, um, the action hero uh, bracket with you guys. We're going to get a lot more debates into that. We're also going to talk about UFC 273. We've got footage of the, of the fight. We're going to talk about the people in that. We'll talk a little bit more about spring break. I don't know, Hinatu, if you were a spring break person. I went on a couple spring breaks in my lifetime. I never, I never went to like a classic spring break, you know, like I was by the time when I was young and, 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 you know, that age when they do the wild stuff from the movies and stuff, I didn't have any fucking yeah. money. You did what? I didn't have any fucking money. You know? Oh, you didn't have so money. So I wasn't like, for me, it was just happy to get out of work, you know, like just maybe to have gotcha. like a, a week off from working or whatever, you know? Gotcha. Here, well, I'm just starting to set up the other thing while we're talking. Well, I remember you know, some spring breaks as a college student um, going to spring break. Whoa, where you went? The Dominican Republic? I went to the Bahamas. Oh, the Bahamas. Um, what and, happened to uh, you there? Yeah, I went to the Bahamas on one and I went to, where else did I go? I guess maybe the Bahamas was probably the best one. Did you meet um, Dexter St. Jacques there? No, I didn't. But I heard of this is somebody. What we'll have to I'll have to remember this. It, over in the Bahamas, a man said something to me. He like described my body Ooh. and he said something to me, and I was like, okay, you know what? That's actually hilarious. Please tell me that one. <laughs> and I've and I've and I've like retained that phrase because I was like, that's really that's really good, and it actually is quite fitting um, of a description of me. Well, let's have. But anyway. One. I'm going to start our feed for the other thing right now while we're on this. Okay. Because I want everybody. So you want to wanna save it? You want to save the punchline for the. For the I'm going to yeah? save it over okay, there. Okay, good. But so, yeah, so folks can see the link for the after party in my stories here on Instagram or just go to festivities.com and hit the after party part or just hit the link in my YouTube on my bio 
um, we are over on YouTube and we do a you know at least an hour it's a lot of time it's like an hour and a half of us talking That's a nice pop one, culture huh? and fights and all kinds of stuff right yeah right okay yeah yeah so I'm gonna start this and then we're gonna go over there and yeah we'll see you in a couple minutes but i wanted to just say thank you so much to mickey gall and uh, if you guys tuned into this late at all i actually do put this whole interview up on youtube tomorrow as well and it also stays on my instagram feed ciao until <laughs> until a couple minutes later how many until minutes a couple minutes how many minutes you need for me? um just a couple just a couple it's already started over there but i just need about Five. Three, okay, I three. see. I need three. three. Actually, I just need three. Okay, I see you very soon, Paul. But I need. I know what you need. You need more than three, Paul. Huh? You need. You need three times that at least, Carter. Okay. Okay, I see you in a minute here, Carter. Paul.